Okay, guys, I'm watching the election live here to find out who's going to be the next president of FIFA and if Blatter gets retained. Um, I'm going to film my screen a little bit here as well so you can see exactly what I'm seeing. If Blatter gets it again, I'm just going to be devastated. I just don't understand how anyone can vote Blatter back in, right? I mean, I think they're going to. That's the sad thing. I think they will because it's so corrupt. I'd hoped that particularly in this kind of developed system and organisation where these guys are supposed to represent people from each country, they're supposed to be the best of us you know, that represent our wishes and our, our desires. And if they are just going to vote for him just to aid their own corrupt and immoral objectives, then we are doomed, aren't we? Because these guys are supposed to represent us. And if they vote for Blatter, they don't represent football fans. Not real football fans, anyway. This would be the perfect time for like the FBI just to storm in and just take Blatter out. I mean, please, I don't mean like out. I mean, just get him to leave. Just say, no, mate, you're not allowed to. Why is this election even taking place? Surely after the drama of this week with all the people getting arrested, you know, senior officials in FIFA, they should have postponed this and said, hang on, we need to work out exactly what's happening within our own organisation before we can make an informative decision on who to vote for to lead it. Bloody hell, this is taking ages. Taking about six hours to do all these votes. Hmm? The worst thing about this voting process has to be this horrible elevator music. Listen. I don't know what's going on now. They've got these big boxes. I'm not sure if they've got to count them or if they've already been counted. There's just loads of blue pieces of paper on the table. music's got a bit more intense now. I think they've nearly counted all 209 votes. Come on, we want Prince Ali to win. We do not want Blatter back in. Please, please. The football and sporting gods, be good to us. Do the right thing, I beg of you. Okay, something's happening. Something's happening. Oh, for crying out loud. They need a second round of voting because no one's had a two-thirds majority. Prince Ali yeah. obtained uh, 73 votes. Prince, Prince Blatter got 133. And he needed 140 to pass in the first Ooh. round. So a second round is needed. Right, a second round is needed. The person that wins needs two-thirds majority of 209 votes. I think they said Prince Ali got 73 votes and Blatter got like 133 and he needed like 140. So he just missed out on getting the majority. But the question is, what happens in this second round? Hussein would like to address the assembly. Uh-oh. Something's happening. Prince Ali wants to talk. Oh, no. I reckon he's going to drop out. No, 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 no. Um, but having said that, I'll be with, uh, with, with your uncle. Oh, um, no, thank Ali. Thank you very much. I wish you the best. No. Thank you. He's withdrawn. Oh, this is a disaster. Right, Prince Ali has withdrawn. He obviously saw that he was way off in terms of votes in that first round. So rather than waste everyone's time and have a second round, he's withdrawn. But you know what that means? That means Blatter stays on, which is an absolute disaster for world football. And it's a real shame. And... Genuinely, I'm gutted. I mean, I sort of saw it coming because all the news has been saying it's going to happen and, you know, he, he supposedly has all these votes sort of locked up in Asia and Africa. But I really hope UEFA stay true to their promises and potentially withdraw from FIFA. They were talking about creating their own, you know, tournament away from the World Cup and stuff as a protest against Blatter, as a protest against the terrible decision making and terrible leadership at FIFA. The only other thing that could happen is some of the big sponsors People like Visa, people like McDonald's, people like Coca-Cola. You guys can pull your sponsorship away from FIFA. That is going to create waves. You take the money away from these guys, you hit them where it hurts. Then they're going to have to turn on Blatter. And Blatter surely is going to have to step down. He should have stepped down already. After all this corruption that's happened on his watch, he should have felt responsible. And he said in his speech today, I take responsibility. No, you don't, mate. If you take responsibility, then you step down and you say, it's happened on my time. I'll let someone else clean it up. You don't think you're the one man bad that's in charge of the whole of football and you can save everything because of why why you who are you that's so special who are you that's the god of football you're an idiot mate i'm sorry blatter has to go and yes he might have been elected in by equally corrupt people that run fifa but it's not the end of it and i know there's a lot of people out there like me who want to see this guy go and won't rest till it's done so leave a comment below hashtag blatter out if you feel the same as me let's start a movement let's get this fraud out of our football because he's not helping it he's making it worse every day that he's in charge 
football is getting worse. Let's get rid of him. I'll see you when you're older. Don't go changing. Oh, shut up, you old mug. Blatter's doing his little acceptance speech. You know what? I hope the FBI do all their job and finish what they've started. Don't just take down the others. Take this guy down with them. Maybe he's won election. That doesn't mean he has to stay in power for the next four years. Let's get him out before he does any more damage to the beautiful game. Obtained. Oh, shut up. I don't want to listen to you. Go home. Go to bed.